Man, I love how the universe works when you understand what's going on. What's up, guys? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon 11970 and I'm just going to prove how easy this stuff is when you really have the knowledge of how life really works. Things present themselves instantly. And I was going to just go relax, watch uh, some Netflix, and if you have Netflix, you know they don't add stuff very often. When they do, a lot of it's garbage. So they put new stuff up, and I'm scrolling through it. I'm not seeing anything I'm interested in. And then I finally said, I'll find – there'll be something that I want to watch. And lo and behold, two clicks later, there's a movie I saw oh, probably when it came out in 2003 called The Recruit. Um, that's with, um, well, I won't even talk about what the, the movie's about and I'm, I'm definitely not showing any clips, but it's basically about how the CIA government can trick you into thinking that things are not what they seem and how easily they can guide you in a, in a certain way. And it totally goes with what I was talking about when I was demonstrating this in my last video. If you don't know what I'm talking about with this, it means you didn't watch the whole thing because it's at the end of the video. And I realized how governments throughout the world can make predictions and why they use things like Facebook, your cell phone to be able to do it. Because, for example, if left unchanged, prediction is very easy in a certain level. Like, for example, if you post on your Facebook I work at such and such bar on Thursday nights at 10. Well, predicting that you are not going to be sick, the future will suggest that next Thursday at 10 o'clock, that's where you'll be. Or if you use your GPS on your cell phone, it'll show that maybe every Wednesday you go to karate class at 8 o'clock. Well, again, unless some different variable comes into play, the odds are Wednesday at that time, you're going to be at that specific place. And what the epiphany aha moment I just had when I was watching just part of this movie to the point where I had to pause it and make this video is the way governments can get their agendas to follow a certain pattern is to make you not think you have the ability to change it. And you just accept it for what it is. Like, for example, when I said in the video, and again, I'll, I'll do it now so you don't have to watch the other video if you haven't. Prediction states that if I let this go, it will drop to the ground. So that's showing that with no psychic ability, just prediction, that the probability of me letting this go and it fit, hitting on the ground is going to be very good. Now, if I do nothing to change it, that's exactly what happens. But if I say this is going to drop in the ground and I decide to say, no, I'm not going to allow it to, I have changed the variable, changing the situation, going from inevitable to controlled destiny. So if you think about how governments are easily getting away with the things that they do, it is because they use fear, they use sleight of hand, misinformation, violence, distractions to get people on an emotional level to the point where they feel helpless, they feel frightened, they feel alone to the point where they don't react and they don't do anything. And what that does is allows their agenda to pr take place. Thus, making their predictions seem like it's one stream and it's inevitable to happen. So, the way you change it is by not allowing them to make you believe that in a infinite universe, there is only one option. That is not true. Prime example, let's say you believe in psychic ability. And let's say somebody actually has psychic ability. And they call you up on the phone, they don't know who you are, and they say to you, I had a premonition about you, I don't know who you are, I got your phone number through a dream I had, here I am calling you to warn you that tomorrow you're going to be hit by a train. Now, if you say, well, I believe in that stuff, 
and you continue to do everything in your normal routine, in other words, don't change anything, well, let's just say you're driving to work or you're driving to school or you're just driving and you happen to go across a train track, your car stalls, you get hit by a train. Well, here's the beautiful thing. What happens if that person that predicted that tomorrow you're going to be hit by a train and you don't live near a train and you stay in your house all day and say, you know what? I'm glad for that information. I choose to change that destiny because I have control of my life and I'll just not go out. Well, guess what? You change the variable. You change the situation. Now you're not going to be hit by a train. This is how governments can control money, control law, can control the fact that even when I talk about, and many other people have talked about the Act of 1871, how they basically overthrew our government, so to speak, and used our consent through our silence to create a corporation known as the United States, not to be confused with the continent of North America. And because no one challenges it, and no one takes them to court for fraud or says we no longer <clears throat> excuse me we no longer comply it remains so in other words because we do nothing such and such and such happens so their predictions come to play why do you think they are always talking about and especially like places like Alex Jones and all these other places that do the fear porn? They're always talking about war. We're going to have World War Three. Everybody's going to die. Well, if you're scared and you get depressed and you say, well, I'm not going to do anything about it or I can't do anything about it. Or, you know what? I'm just going to go get drunk and go party and go sleep with as many people as I can because you know what? The world's going to end. So I might as well make the best of it. Well, guess what? Their prediction can come true because you're not doing anything to fix it or alter it because you have been programmed to believe you have no power. And I'm here to tell you that you have all the power in the world. You just have to believe in it. And just like in the whole Matrix where Neo had to learn about all of his powers before he can accept it. The same thing like the Wizard of Oz with Dorothy, because she had the power to go home all along. She just had to believe in it and understand it through experience. You're being played by people who know emotion, know how to manipulate. They cannot make any destiny happen, but they can keep you from trying to change it. So again, if I have this pen and I say, if I'm the government and I say that this pen is guaranteed to drop and let's say I was going to stop it. Well, if all of a sudden they light my house on fire, my priority is not going to be to stop this pen or there is some major thing on the television and I get distracted and while I'm away the pen drops, they did not create a miracle. They just stopped me from having the ability to change the outcome. So they want you angry. They want you depressed. They want you unmotivated. They want you to think you don't have the power to change anything. So guess what? You're right. Once you know the game, you can play to win. So here's my gift of my ability to pay attention to things. And that's why I say all the time, there are no accidents. So here I am all of a sudden talking about motivation, inspiration, how things happen for a reason. And lo and behold, a video gets approached to me by one of my subscribers today. Then I go on Netflix for the first time in God knows how many weeks and actually saw something that I would actually watch. And it talks about the very thing about even hidden messages, because the way that the um, main character in there shows that he's from the CIA is he holds up a newspaper and it says, uh, today's specials. And in specials, he circles CIA. Hidden in plain sight. Now, I'm not saying the word special, that's what they're doing with CIA. But the point is that they're taking hidden in plain sight information and displaying it that you wouldn't have recognized until it was pointed out. Coded messages. That's why laws are written in codes and statutes.
You have the power to change anything in life. They want to scare the living daylights out of you, depress the living daylights out of you, entertain the living daylights out of you, so you don't. And then it makes their predictions happen. So they're just manipulating you. They don't have some spiritual knowledge of the future. Because even if they do, it's one dimension in an ever-expanding infinite universe. The way they make you think is life is a road that is one road and that's it. You go from point A to point B, there's no other destinations. Well, guess what? Roads are scattered all over the place. So if you're traveling on that road and you don't like the way it's going, or it's scary, or it's too long, or you need to take a break, well, you curve off another way. You could still get to your destination. That's the same thing with this reality. It's there are people that are very experienced and very well funded. That's why we they worked with people like Sigmund Freud. That's why they did all these experiments with scientists and psychologists and did psychological tests. I mean, look at all these unclassified videos that are coming out from the 40s and 50s. They're always talking about your mental aspect. They want to know what makes your mind click, how you react to things. Why do you think advertisements are based on your need to have an ego filled? That's why they hire famous actors and actresses and movie stars and sports figures because you want to be just like them. And if they're holding some brand name, you want it too. Or if somebody says, oh, I spent $10,000 on this little pocketbook named by such and such brand, you'll say, oh, well, I got to spend that money because I want to be like them. They use your emotion. They play on your emotion. They feed off it, and they're excellent at it. So while you're sitting there depressed because of all the bad things that they caused are happening, you have no motivation to change it. So if everybody tomorrow said they were tired of what governments are doing to them, and they stood up and said, no more? Who wins? I mean, you don't have to pull a, a, a trigger to do it. And that's what they're scared of. They're so scared of people finding out that they have the power to go home all along. They want you to not know it, to not realize it, to not believe in it. They want you to get drunk. They want you to watch Playboy Channel. They want you to watch all the free porn on the internet. They want you to watch things that you hate. They put all this garbage on TV, all these sports shows, all this distraction. Then they do all the, the, the news where it's all depressing, all frightening, that the terrorists are always out to get you. Because they know that the majority of people will either be distracted through the entertainment or frightened with the fear that they present to the point where you will not be motivated to change anything. So they create their destiny and they pull you along their path. It's not a miracle. It's just using the mind to understand the power. Because I hate to tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, the Dorothys of the world, you have the power to go home anytime you want. The more we do nothing, the more nothing changes. So complaining about it does nothing. Getting depressed fixes nothing. Because like the last video when I was talking about that girl, let's say that was a real life scenario that that was really happening. And people decided, I don't want to partake in that. I don't want to be involved. What if that woman, her destiny was to expose government fraud and they sent out an agent to kill her? Or what if she was going to cure cancer? She had the cure for cancer in her pocket. That information dies with her. So people don't understand. They always think in the moment, but they don't think about the future of what can happen. They only think about what they can get for themselves. So governments exploit that. They use your ignorance. They use your sense of greed. They use your ability to be fooled, to be manipulated, to be frightened into filling their agenda, keeping you on that one path, thinking that's the only way. But you have to think of life like you are the director of a movie. And if somebody comes along and says, here, I have a script for you, put it in your movie. 
most people will say, well, it's the only thing presented to me, and they gave it to me, so I, I guess I have to put it in my movie. It's my movie. I'll put in it whatever I want. They can present it to you, but it doesn't mean you have to accept it. So when you're presented by this fear, you could say, no, thank you. I don't want to partake in it. Or better yet, you could say, you know what? Thank you for showing me what I need to correct. Now it's my job to alert others or do the action. Stopping the inevitable. There is no such thing as inevitable unless you let it happen. You can change it at any moment. And like I said, because of gravity, if I want to let this go and I do nothing to change it, it drops. But if I decide I'm not going to let that happen, I change the outcome. You could do the same thing with anything in your life. It's just how bad do you want it? And I'll prove the point that it's nothing more than your motivation and your passion. And I'll give you a prime example. Let's say I say to you right now, you have 30 days to come up with $1 million. I guarantee you the majority of people would say, there's no way I can come up with a million dollars in 30 days, because if you could, you'd already have it. But what if I said, and God forbid this ever happens, and I never wish this on anybody. Let's say you have a brand new baby girl or baby boy. You have a brand new baby. And, so, and I kidnap that baby. And I make a video with a gun to that baby's head. And I say, if you do not come up with a million dollars within 30 days, I will not only kill your baby, but I will film it, put it on the internet for all to see. You don't think you'll do everything in your power to get that million dollars? What's the difference? The difference is nothing more than your motivation to make it a priority. And that's what they don't want you to ever think. That's why they want you distracted. They want you to watch football, wrestling, boxing, baseball, Dancing with the Stars, American Idol, Duck Dynasty, all the free porn on the internet. And they want you scared by the news and the media and the government and the politicians. And they want you focused on gay marriage. They want you to focus on racial problems because it makes you angry. It separates. It's The solution is so easy. You just got to be thinking on their level. Know thine enemy. They create no miracles. They just guide you towards their agenda. And they're very good at it, and they've been doing it for a very long time. It's time you made a change. The only way for change to happen is for you to make it happen. Not sit around waiting for it to happen, because you will spend your whole life waiting. Do something. Thanks for watching. Peace.